Hey YouTube, it is Dion. Today I did use um, the Cover Effects Foundation again. The primer yesterday broke me out really, really badly. The Water Cloud Primer. I had red bumps here. I had red bumps here. My forehead, on my chin. This one was really angry. And so I washed my face, I used toner, and that's when I seen, I'm like, oh my god, like what happened to my face? Um, and then I exfoliated, so it wasn't as bad this morning, but it was still like a lot of red and little bumps. Um, Cover FX Foundation, I used a Fenty Setting Powder and Cashew. I did go back into the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette, let me say it right this time. I used this highlighter over here. I used this brightener, this one here in the middle. Yeah, you see that right there? and that right there and I went over it with powder and bronzer because it just looked really ghastly on its own and it definitely is a brightener but I cannot get rid of it <laughs> and I used a finishing powder as a blush um, for, for bronzer I used Fenty Island Ting and for a very, very, very almost there, not there contour, I used the North Laguna. And that is just right here. And for my lips today and brows, of course, the same as I did yesterday. And for lips today, I used my other Shishido Lacquer Rink Gloss. This one is number 305. See, I put a label. <laughs> 305 Red Flicker. And they describe the color as tangerine. And so it is true to what it looks like. So I'm really digging it. What I'm going to talk about briefly is the video you will see is, is a hashtag TBT, hashtag Throwback Thursday of a series I did for beginners back in the day. And I watched it and I wanted to note that there are some differences now from back then. Um, I said that you can only get the e.l.f. primer online. You can now get e.l.f. products in Target, um, Walmart, drugstores. I've seen them in shop right around the corner. So you can get e.l.f. products almost anywhere these days. Um, and I think I might actually go back to that primer. Hopefully they didn't change the formula, but that was a long time ago, so maybe they have. I don't know, because I'm having a challenge with finding a primer that works. And also, speaking of primers, they have spray primers now. Just like they have spray setting sprays. Spray setting sprays. Yeah, spray is a spray. You know what I mean. And also... I said that I use a candle holder for my foundation. And yes, it's dirty because I used it today when I did my foundation. I still actually use this. It's the same exact one <laughs> that I use still for my foundation. For the purpose of, when I put it on the back of my hand, it starts, starts to absorb on the back of my hand. I don't want to lose product, especially if the foundation is an expensive one. Meaning like 30 plus dollars or 40 bucks. And in a video I used, um, I mentioned that I used... Um, setting powders or a powder foundation sometimes to set my liquid foundation. I don't do that anymore. I don't even use um, that many powder products. Um, and I know I did do have the bronzer and this thing. The issue was is setting powders or powders I would use to set my foundation, I would always hit pan. That is like the one product I would always hit pan other than foundation, which is liquid, but you don't hit pan, you just empty the bottle or go through the bottle I mean um, so I've taken to using loose powders to set my foundation because I found out I was allergic to nickel not the five cent piece but the <laughs> the nickel the material the chemical compound nickel well actually it's not chemical it's like a natural compound so like anything in a pan and of course you can't see it because it's product in it but in a video where I, I showed I hit pan where you see the, sorry about the glare, where you see the pan through the product, part of that compound is nickel. And every time I would hit pan on a, a pressed product, my face would start to break out. And I couldn't figure out why. And so I was asking people, and somebody's like, well, you might be allergic to nickel. I'm like, what are you talking about? And it turned out that's what it was. And so I no longer use powder foundation or a pressed powder to set my foundation and it's been a lot better and I think by time I get to something that isn't a compact because I have powder on and whatever else on it's not as close to my skin and it's not getting in 
into my skin to cause a breakout. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I hope you enjoy the video. Um, the next two weeks, I'm looking one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I have a total of five more Throwback Thursdays, but I'm not going to post them all. Um, but I'm definitely going to do the setting powder and the blush one and the bronzer and brows and eyeshadow. I'm talking way too long. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.